Welcome back to KSP. Some of you may know, some may not, but when you start a science playthrough in Kerbal Space Program, you start with only the Flea engine as your first engine. But then after the first launch, when you get some science, you kind of just throw it out and act like it doesn't even exist. And I feel kind of bad for the Flea engine. You know, I, I think it deserves more respect than that. So today I'm going to be pushing the limits of the Flea engine and seeing how far I can take the starter engine in science mode in Kerbal Space Program. Okay, so starting off, I couldn't use any other parts except for the three you're given when you start. So I can only use fleas, the cockpit, and then a parachute. So I can't use decouplers or anything else at this current moment. Later on, I do eventually add decouplers, and that's all I, I change later on. I just want to see how far I can get without decouplers first. So m my plan here was that I was hoping when an engine would burn, it would just burn off the stage below it and then basically get rid of it. So that's kind of my whole plan here. All right, well, let's, let's just see how this goes, man. Let's just do it. And what if I just... Is it going to burn? It does, but it takes a while. Ooh. Okay, that's concerning. I'll just start it early then. Okay, so like half the burn time is used just to blow up the next stage. Oh, no, never mind. Not that time it wasn't. What the... Okay. We're getting some speed. Blow up today. Wow, all right. That works. Blow up! There we go. I don't know if that's going to do us any good, <clears throat> but it's fine. Oh, we actually get into space. <laughs> it's kind of crazy. What? That actually worked decently well. That's without decouplers. Hold on. This actually might not even be a challenge. This is just KSP baby mode. Suborbital hop with just a flea engine is kind of crazy. But can we survive re-entry with the flea? I'm sure we can. Hopefully we slow down. I don't want Jeb to die. Jeb's gonna die. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. Yeah, after brutally killing Jeb on accident, um, I decided to pretty much do the exact same thing because I need the science to use decouplers eventually. I'm still going to try to get orbit without using decouplers. But uh, yeah, pretty much I added a few extra boosters, which I got closer to orbit, but I didn't get orbit yet still. So we deorbited with what we had, and hopefully it goes a little better this time. Okay, please don't flip out. Please don't flip out. Please don't flip out. It's fine. Burn up, but don't flip out. And it flipped out again. Oh shit. Jab abort! <laughs> oh wow. We didn't get any science though. The science is gone. Oh uh, crap. <laughs> Do our pro arrow breaking technique. The spin of doom. Alright, cool. Like how far can I push this, this design? I pretty much just slapped on more boosters. That was my whole thought process. It was like, I was just like, you know what? If I just put on more boosters, surely I'll get a lot further. Let's just see how well this works. It is enough. Holy moly. Can you blow up, please? There we go. Okay, it's fine. It's fine. <clears throat> oh, what just happened? Okay. Uh. Okay. That just. Wow, that was almost bad. Burn it off. Come on. Just go, 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 go. Keep it steady. Keep it up. Jeb, Jeb, Jeb. Just keep going up. Don't worry about that. We'll be fine. I didn't really do anything extra. That was pretty much the same as uh, the last one. Just we went more up. Let's just go burn up in the atmosphere real quick. What? How did? Okay, we survived that somehow. We we just tanked the, the whatever that was. All right. Well, good job, Jeb. I don't know how you survived that too. Oh. <laughs> as you can see. I decided to add on more boosters, and it did not end well. 
I mean, like, we can we can save this. Hold on. We can save this. Uh oh. Jeb, can you keep it steady, man? I'm trying to keep this thing in the air. Oh, Lord. Why is the weight uneven? Why does that randomly happen? That's awesome. Thanks for that. Uh, can you stop spinning, though? I'm trying to do something here. I don't mean fly down. Why is it? We're out of electric charge? Are you actually kidding me? Not far. <laughs> you did not make it far at all. I decided to remove a few of the bottom stage boosters and try again, and it worked a lot better. We didn't instantly get Kraken and die. <laughs> Just lost a parachute. <laughs> I know we did, and we lost a mystery goo. Okay. That was better. Not by much. But, I mean, we get an extra kilometer per second we get in orbit. The only thing I changed here is I added two extra boosters on the top to try to push us into orbit. Um, at this point, I was tired of burning off the st stages and having it be uneven. Like, I was really fed up. So, soon, we just start using decouplers. Um, okay, we just lost an entire row of... What the f Okay. Great. Let's just burn that off. Alright, now- Okay, we're- Now we're cooked. We're- We're genuinely cooked. Yeah, another mid-launch. Okay, I think the flea without any decouplers can get you... ...to space. Reasonably, I'm sure you can take it a lot further. It's just it gets ridiculous to a point so This is, this is as far as I can get with it <laughs> after finally using decouplers on the craft I decided to do some some radially mounted Boosters on the sides and I basically do like an asparagus staging kind of setup where I would burn the four side boosters first drop them off and then burn the middle stage and try to be like as efficient as I could using fleas Hopefully a little better. Hopefully we're stable. Because <laughs> the last one would, uh... Some of them would blow up, some of them wouldn't. So then the weight would be off-center. It would just screw everything up. I'd be going up a little too fast. Okay, that was, actually, uh, that was actually really good. I made two major changes. One, I made that giant first stage you saw just fly by, which gave us a great boost out of the atmosphere. And then two, for the top stages, I made the thrust limiter very high. So like they're only running at 20% their uh, speed. So instead of burning up in the atmosphere using a lot of drag, I, I would just slowly coast through the upper atmosphere. And this helped a lot. We actually got really close to orbit. Yeah, so if we get like one more stage equal to what we have up, we'll get in orbit. I don't know how, f how much further we'll get with that. Uh, so of course, naturally, I just decided to add on more boosters to the bottom stages and hoped it'd get me further up. Um, the results are kind of disappointing. I wouldn't say entirely disappointing though. I don't think we're gonna get orbit here, but I think we're gonna get really fucking close. 400 meters a second. <laughs> hmm. Oh, we're in orbit. <laughs> we actually reached orbit. See, we just needed a little push, man. Holy crap. Look at that, Jeb. We're in orbit. Only issue is, uh, that's about as far as we can go right now. Wow, Jeb, you're the first Kerbal to be in orbit using only a fully in this space program. Okay, well, we can make it to orbit. That's the hardest part, right? Getting to orbit. So, let's try to get in orbit in a pod. <laughs> Preferably. Alright.
Yeah, after that little um, disco party on the launch pad, I decided to strut up my rocket so it doesn't fall apart again. Sometimes all you need in life are some struts. Hopefully that fixes it. Oh, I really hope this works. See, I'm telling you, struts can fix anything. Struts can fix anything. About to fail an exam, use some struts. You're benching 225, you're about to crush your, your, your chest with the bar. Put some struts on that motherfucker. Ooh, that was a little too early. Anyway, yeah, uh, struts helped a lot, by the way. Um, so I tried to get to orbit again with an even larger bottom stage, as you saw. And honestly, we get really, really close. And I tried to push the pod with Jeb's EVA pack, but Loki did not work. Yeah, no, it's not going to work. I didn't think it was. It was just... <laughs> Actually, it did help a lot, though. We're less than 100 now. <gasps> oh, fuck. Can I go back? Oh, what I, why am I so stupid? Why am I so stupid? Oh, please. Standing by to launch. Look at the gargantuan size of this first stage. It's insane. Also, the reason why I was so distraught of me messing up in low orbit like that was because I actually had enough fuel to get into orbit, and then I messed up a hitting space twice and fat fingered. But this launch goes really well. Way better than the last one, so actually I'm kind of happy that happened now. Well, those are going to keep burning for a minute, so we're just kind of, we're going to let it do its thing. Holy shit. Okay. 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 Fuck yeah. Okay. Woo! Okay, min miss is possible. Min miss is possible. It's more of a matter of fine tuning now than it is a matter of. Oh, wait, hold on. What if we. This would be crazy if we do it right now. I can get a money counter, but hold on. But we have extra fuel. Holy shit. Hold on. No way we get the business. Okay, hold on. If we have a crash course. Mm-hmm. Okay, so I'm gonna try to just slam into Minmus. But we have we, we have more delta V than what's required, right? My plan is the second we get enough delta V, I eject the booster. Like I just I eject it early and we just let it go. Yeah, so pretty much my plan was to suicide burn towards Minmus and then just get rid of the booster last second. I'm not going to hold you. It doesn't go as well as I anticipated. You get off me. Ooh. Oh, wait, that's not enough. All right, hold on. It's push time. The classic push. All right, Jeb, get out. <laughs> get out and push this motherfucker. Yeah, so I was short by 13 meters a second, so I decided just to get Jeb out and push. I'm not the most proud of this idea, but I was so close to getting to Mimis, I didn't even care. Oh shit, we have a Mimis encounter. Hold on. Okay, chill out. How much is it to slow down? Is that like a few hundred meters a second? 200. <laughs> Alright. Hold on. <laughs> Can I land with just a jetpack? I don't know. First thing I'm gonna try is just having Jeb get out and just burn like retrograde with his jetpack. Yes, yeah, so we're basically at our periapsis. So burn retrograde. See? Yeah, I knew it. Okay, now we're in minimus orbit. I'm just gonna slow down more. There we go. Okay. Jeb is now in orbit around minimus. How fast are we going at my periapsis? If we're going like under 200 meters a second, I think we can land just using the jetpack. But I'm okay. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. It's not looking good. It's speeding up pretty fast. If it's under, oh, it's. Hmm. Despite my dwindling fuel supply in Jeb's EVA pack, I still try to descend anyway with the high speed. Oh god! There we go. We're falling this way? Hmm. We're gonna land around here. Luckily, the area we're landing at is pretty flat, all things considered, so I got quite the nice 
like, landing strip for this mission. Coming in, honestly, I think we'll be fine. We need to try to buy some more time vertically, though, maybe. All things considered, we should be fine. Just keep slowing down. Get down as much speed as we can. And boom. Well, Jeb. <laughs> We're on Minmus. <laughs> but that's about as far as we can... That's a, Well, you're kind of stuck here. <laughs> Unless you get to orbit with 50 meters a second, but I doubt it. Is your home. Homie will never get back to ever again. <laughs> Are you saluting because you're stuck here? That's fine. <laughs> That's crazy. We made it to Minmus using only flea engines and Jeb's EVA pack, but still, I mean, it's kind of crazy. Flea man. And with that, Jeb is officially stranded on Minmus, but we used only fleas to get there and then landed Jeb there with his, with his EVA pack. So honestly, that's a win in my book. I think I could have gotten to Duna if I pushed myself a little more, but like the, the amount of fleet engines was low key lagging my game to high hell. So I decided not to. But anyway, um, thank you for sticking around the whole time. I really appreciate it. Um, and if you have any like other challenges you'd like me to do, let me know. I'll be happy to do them. So yeah, but I'm about to see ya.